Taliban urge to stop blocking route to Kabul airport, live updates. More flights arrive in Germany from Kabul. US urges Taliban to ensure safe passage to the airport. Efforts continue to fly out evacuees from Kabul. German government faces growing criticism over lack of preparation. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell said it was the bloc's moral duty to rescue as many former Afghan staffers as possible. The bloc's foreign policy chief said the EU was doing all it can to evacuate Afghan staffers. Borrell said there are still some 300 ex-EU employees still to be evacuated. The former Spanish foreign minister, who earlier this week advocated talking to the Taliban, said 400 Afghans who worked with the EU have already left the country. Poland deploys troops to help evacuations. Polish President Andrzej Duda has signed off on an additional 100-strong troop contingent to help Poland's military evacuate its nationals and other citizens. President Duda signed the order later on Wednesday night. Poland has promised humanitarian visas for those who helped its army during its 20-year presence in Afghanistan. Evacuation flights land in Frankfurt. Two planes landed at Frankfurt Airport early Thursday with evacuees from the Afghan capital, Kabul. Some 500 people were on board the two chartered planes that were operated by Lufthansa and Uzbekistan Airways. The two aircraft had taken off from the Uzbek capital Tashkent, where the German army has established an evacuation hub. UK warns it will not evacuate unaccompanied children. British Defence Secretary Ben Wallace has told UK broadcaster Sky News that British troops will not evacuate unaccompanied children from Afghanistan. We can't just take a minor on their own, Wallace said in the interview broadcast on Thursday morning. He was responding to a question about video footage that appeared online overnight of Afghan parents handing their children over a wall at Kabul airport to Western forces. Italy eyes special Afghanistan G20 summit. Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi, whose country currently holds the G20 presidency, is planning to organize a special summit to deal with the humanitarian fallout from the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan, two top Italian newspapers reported on Thursday. Draghi is set to discuss the plan with Russian President Vladimir Puto in later today, La Repubblica and Deal. Spain says all of its nationals have left Afghanistan. Spanish Foreign Minister José Manuel Álvarez tweeted earlier on Thursday that Spain has succeeded in evacuating all of its nationals from Afghanistan, apart from those troops assisting with rescue flights. Álvarez said that the first phase of Spain's evacuation plan had been completed, but indicated Madrid would welcome more Afghan staff who worked with its military over the past 20 years. U.S. demands safe passage for Afghans. The U.S. calls on the Taliban to allow Afghans to reach evacuation flights, accusing the Islamist group of reneging on a pledge to let those who want to leave Afghanistan to do so. We have seen reports that the Taliban, contrary to their public statements and their commitments to our government, are blocking Afghans who wish to leave the country from reaching the airport, Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman told reporters. We expect them to allow all American citizens, all third country nationals and all Afghans who wish to leave to do so safely and without harassment. But British Defence Secretary Ben Wallace told Sky News on Thursday that the Taliban are letting through UK nationals and Afghan staff who worked for the British Army. Wednesday's developments, President Ghani arrives in UAE, Biden hints at later evacuation deadline. Ashraf Ghani, the ousted Afghan president, arrived in the United Arab Emirates after rumors persisted as to his whereabouts. The United States has not recognized the Taliban's rule as yet, but a top State Department official told reporters that Ghani is no longer a player in Afghanistan. U.S. President Joe Biden suggested that American troops could stay on past the initial full withdrawal deadline of August 31. Biden said it would be to ensure that all Americans and Afghan staff could be taken out of the country safely. A Taliban spokesperson told the Reuters news agency that Afghanistan under the Islamist group's rule will not be a democracy. There will be no democratic system at all because it does not have any base in our country, Wahidullah Hashimi said. It is Sharia law and that is it. The German Bild newspaper ran an exclusive story to how Germany's intelligence service believed an immediate fall of Kabul was rather unlikely, citing an internal government memo. 
Britain recalled lawmakers to Parliament from their summer recess to debate Afghanistan's future. Politicians from all sides criticised Prime Minister Boris Johnson's failure to draw up a contingency plan for guaranteeing the country's security.